Hello guys, today we will talk about something that everyone should know. Our bodies are fascinating. Human biology is amazingly complex, which can be mind-boggling when you consider how many complicated processes are carried out by our bodies every second. Whether you are a bio-expert or know absolutely nothing about the human body, it's useful to know biology basics in order to make informed decisions that will help keep your body working. The human body has 12 systems. They are the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, the endocrine system, the immune system, the integumentary system, the lymphatic system, the muscular system, the nervous system, the reproductive system, the respiratory system, the skeletal system and the urinary system. All of these systems work together to ensure that our bodies work correctly. The cardiovascular system transports blood, oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. The digestive system takes in and processes food. The endocrine system produces hormones that regulate metabolism, growth and development, tissue function, sexual reproduction, sleep and mood. The immune system fights infection. The integumentary system protects the body from outside the mage. The lymphatic system connects the lymph nodes in our bodies and helps the circulatory system and immune system. The muscular system allows us to move. The nervous system transmits signals throughout the body and controls voluntary and involuntary actions. The reproductive system allows us to have sex and children. The respiratory system enables us to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide as we breathe. The skeletal system gives our bodies a framework and supports the systems. The urinary system expels waste. All of these are only some of the main functions of each system, but each system performs many others. There are four blood groups, A, B, AB and 0. Your lettered blood type is determined by which antibodies are in your plasma and which antigens are found on your red blood cells. Antibodies are blood proteins, while antigens are substances that activate an immune response and control what enters and exits a cell. Each blood group can be either positive or negative, resulting in 8 possible blood types. The plus or minus part of a person's blood type is determined by the presence or absence of the third antigen called the Rh factor. Our bodies can handle blood without the presence of an antigen that we usually have, but cannot handle the introduction of a new antigen into the circulatory system. That's why people with 0 minus blood are known as universal donors, anyone can use 0 minus blood. People with AB plus blood, on the other hand, are universal recipients. They have every antigen in their blood already. Our DNA is stored in 23 pairs of chromosomes within the nucleus of every cell in our body. Each cell has a full set of chromosomes which contain all the genetic material needed to determine the makeup of our entire bodies. That's why cloning of animals can be done with just one cell. All the genetic material that defines us is inside each and every cell of our body, from our hair follicles to toenails. Our immune system fights off infection mostly through the use of antibodies and macrophages. Antibodies actually fight infection by killing the virus or foreign bacteria, while macrophages are white blood cells that surround and contain the foreign cells to prevent the spread of disease. We have more than five senses. While we typically think of the traditional five senses of touch, taste, hearing, vision and smell, our bodies can actually sense many other things. Some of the most important senses include balance, temperature, proprioception, spatial body awareness, aka why you can touch your nose with your eyes shut, pain, which is associated with its own organ, taste with your tongue, smell with the nose or sensory receptor. Nearsightedness and farsightedness are caused by defects in the shape of our eyeballs. Nearsightedness or myopia is caused by a greater curve in the cornea of the eye or by an elongation of the eyeball. Farsightedness or hyperopia is caused by a corneal curve that is too small or by having a short eyeball. Some evidence indicates that nearsightedness is genetic. We still aren't 100% sure why people yawn. Many scientists today think that yawning is a way to keep our brains alert in times of stress. But exactly why that happens or what the yawn does to help our body isn't 100% clear. That could be why they are contagious, we are elected to a potential stressor by another person. Others believe that yawns are a reaction to being tired, as a way to re-engage. Yawning may help us to get more oxygen to help our brains perform better, or it may cool down the brain which gets hotter in times of stress. We still aren't exactly sure what role yawning serves in human biology. The brain works harder while we are asleep than during the day when we are awake. Many people assume that sleep helps the brain rest, but our brains are actually busier during slumber. When we sleep and dream, our brains carry out important functions that they cannot perform while focusing on movement and conscious thought. During sleep, our brains process things we learn and emotions we felt during waking hours and saves them in our memory. That's why sleep is so important to learning. The liver has over 500 functions. 
Our liver doesn't just filter toxins from the blood, it does much more to keep our bodies healthy. Some of its other important functions include creating bile that breaks down fat and carries away waste, producing cholesterol, regulating blood clotting, processing hemoglobin and so much more. As you can see, the liver is key to our health, so treat it well. All body parts can repair themselves, except teeth. Innate human biology allows us to repair our cells pretty easily for the most part. While any serious damage to the body can take a long time to heal, all of our body parts have the ability to start healing and regenerating or their own, except teeth. 